Well, hi, and welcome to my shop for another microscope video here, as I'm, uh, I just can't get enough right now. I'm having so much fun with this uh, microscope. So I've been looking at a lot of needles, record player needles. I've posted a number of uh, videos on them using the microscope, and incidentally, I've created a new light source right here, which is an LED light. Uh, it's doing a wonderful job. So I'm still working on more needle videos in case you haven't gotten totally bored with <laughs> the numerous ones I've posted already where I'm more or less exploring how to use the microscope and how to get a good view on a record player needle but for something a little different I thought maybe I'd show you this now this is just an ordinary very common transistor or power transistor you'd find in all kinds of stereos this is the transistor that drives the actual uh, speakers. Now, this one, I cut the top off, I cut the can open, and I was stunned when I did this a few months ago to find out what's inside them. Uh, an awful lot of air, that's what's inside that can. And uh, I think I made a little video just using my magnifier. That would be this guy. It's just a pretty strong magnifier, but nothing like a microscope. So I thought, hey, let's put them under the microscope and see what it looks like. So so that's what we're going to do. So let me slide it under here. And we're going to start on low power um, because it's hard to understand what you're seeing on high power. Even on low power here, you can see so little of what's inside there. But let's take a look. Okay, we'll just focus in here a minute. Okay. Now, that's one of two leads that are attached right to, the, I guess, what would be the silicon wafer. And that shape you see well, you know, I've never looked in one of these, so I couldn't really tell you exactly what that is. You can kind of see how the lead is fused. Fused in there. You can see the shadow from the lead, too. So if you, if you can't picture this in three dimensions, you can see the shadow and out this way, the lack of focus. So that lead is coming up off that bottom part. Now, let's just, we'll just scan along here and see what we can see by looking at it. There's another lead on the other corner. Almost looks like solder in there, doesn't it? Very much so. Down it comes. Now, I imagine some of these shapes are actually uh, maybe a little bit of resistance. Where's the transistor? There is that is the transistor right there. That's it. That whole thing. I've never ever actually looked at one like this. Except except through that eye eye magnifier, eyepiece magnifier. So wow. Now there's a lot of dirt and dust on it because I've had this thing open for a while. But well, let's try it on a higher power here. Some of that is just dirt and debris. It's falling in the air in my shop or wherever it's come from. And there's that soldered, what I imagine is just soldered lead. I think it could be as glue, and I, I have a little bit of trouble believing that. Doesn't 
doesn't look very regular, does it? This level, you can kind of see the, uh, how do I call it? Aside from the dirt, the reality of what's going on in there, it looks, frankly, it looks like a clumsy solder job done by me. <laughs> Let's go look at the other lead. The other lead is over here. This one's a little interesting because it comes down into this it looks like the letter E backwards plate and assuming the silvery stuff is metal uh, maybe the black stuff is the actual silicon below it I don't know silicon is a metal isn't it silicon like a metal I don't really know to be honest with you semi metal so doesn't look like there's any direct contact through the metal stuff there. Maybe this is a bit of like a... I don't, I don't know what to say. I could guess away here, but I have no clue, so I won't bother. Yeah. So that's it. That's what's inside the uh, power transistor. I'm going to give you a look at it. A uh, little bit of a less magnification here. I can, just by... Not so good, is it? Well, there. That little tiny shiny square is what we were looking at. The rest of it is just nothing. It's just an empty can. And the part that's reflecting light there, that's what we were looking at. And of course, on the back, you can see where the two lead holes are. It goes through to the other side. And that's those leads we were looking at that were connected onto the little tiny chip. So the reason this thing is this big is to dissipate heat as rapidly as possible. Get it away from that little tiny chip that's in there. It's pretty darn tiny, isn't it? Well, hope you enjoyed that quick little video. And I hope for me it's back to looking at needles. <laughs>